you know, bear with me on that. Okay, so guys, we're going to get started. Welcome tonight to the Go Now Game Plan. I'm so excited for tonight's segment. We have a, a couple of recurring topics, just like usual. We're going to be going through social media speaking tonight, um, shopping annuity hack with some very special guests. Um, we have a product feature for Consumer Corner, a brain spanking, and a DMTSS roundup. So we got five segments to get through tonight. Um, as always, we're going to keep it really simple. There's going to be just one actionable item around that uh, segment so that you don't feel like you're leaving with too much knowledge and you don't really know what to do from there. So you just want to keep it simple, educate on one area, and then say, here's what you do next. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start off tonight with socially speaking. So, so uh, there's a big, heavy um, focus tonight on shopping, community, member, the upcoming international convention. And so for social media, what I wanted to talk about tonight are, is essentially like what can you do at international convention to have a strong social media presence that works in your favor? So there's obviously a tremendous amount of ways that you can um, interact and get involved at the conventions, but one of the best ways that you can interact and, and actually take the event even further than from where you are right now is to experience it and share your experience on social media. Um, so the social media number one, they love when we in the field share stuff on social media because number one, it gives them a really nice insight um, into our experience and the kinds of things that we want to see and we want to know about and we want to share. Um, it also gives them really great content that's valuable for us and our organization, right? I mean, what's, what better a, a way to share about a product than one of us talking about our use of the product in the arena or the Coliseum, right? Or um, what better way for someone or for a social media team to share about travel deals than to share an actual travel deal that we took advantage of to get our, you know, to, to book our flight to get to Greensboro, North Carolina, right? So there's that. But then the most important part about that is that when you are at a convention, when you're at a um, world conference or international convention, and you post your experience um, throughout the event, what you're also doing is you're generating interest in what you're doing. You're generating excitement and buzz. And the, you're basically provoking conversations to happen um, from your friends, your family, your network. So it's a really easy, exciting way to tell people what you're up to in business um, in an indirect and comfortable way. Um, and so it, it's, it's also equally as important. It's not just about education. It's not just about saying, look at how cool I am at this really cool conference with these really great people and my really great outfit. It's not about that. It's about um, you know sharing your experience for educational purpose, but most importantly, for thought-provoking reasons. Um, when you share a team photo of you and your organization you know, in the Coliseum, you share a magic moment, or you share your favorite takeaway from Lauren or J.R. Mark or Steve's or whoever's presentation, or a favorite testimonial, your, that power profile that came out and just touched your heart. When you share stuff like that, what happens is the people on your friends list, your friends and family, they see that stuff and they ask questions like, oh, that's cool, where are you at? Like, what are you up to? Um, that's really interesting, right? So they may comment, they may like your photo or post, or they may not. They may just kind of come back later and check and see if you're still there tomorrow and what are you taking away tomorrow at this convention, right? So um, what I wanted to do is give you guys kind of like a laundry list of different pro um, types of posts and images that can be very powerful for you from a business standpoint while you're at International Convention in North Carolina. So um, while you're there, these are the types of posts that you want to consider making to your own personal Facebook, Instagrams, or even your Twitter account, right, live tweeting the event or whatever. So the first one, of course, is any team photos. That's you um, and your organization at the event taking it all in. That also goes true for, like, you meet someone great. Like, if you're excited and you bump into a list of whoever and you say, can I take a picture? She'll say, of course, you can take a picture. And she'll take a picture with you. So you can post it about, hey, I met, you know, one of my mentors at the convention and I'm, you know, a female entrepreneur that's killing it, not just in market America, but just in business in general, right? Share your experience, share that kind of stuff. Um, any magic moment that you have, post about it. You know, for me, that usually comes on the Sunday or the Monday after the event. 
um, I like to take a moment and reflect on, um, you know, what I have just seen, what I have just witnessed, and all the exciting things um, that have happened and that I've experienced. And I like to make a reflection post. Um, and so I highly recommend that you do that. They can be very powerful. Um, and again, it's a really great way, um, a, a non-direct way to bring up the business to people on your names list that maybe you haven't done so. It's indirect. You can cause people to come to you instead of you feeling like you have to go to them. Um, your favorite presentations. Um, I love it. People love it and, um, when, you, when you share something you took away. Um, it's exciting. It's something that they can relate to. They may not know who um, Lauren Reidinger is. I don't know how that's possible. She's pretty famous. But like, if, if someone doesn't know that name, um, but you post a picture of Lauren and you know one of the quotes that just really hit home for you or one of the pieces of advice that she shared that really you know changed something for you, that's going to resonate with someone who may not know who the speaker is. So just keep that in mind. When you are sharing pictures of presentations, um, it's, it's very important that you share why you love the presentation. Don't just post a picture of Kevin Buckman on stage and say Kevin Buckman is on stage, the professor. Because that's cool, but I guarantee you people will see the picture and go, why is Sting at Market America's convention, right? So what you want to do instead is you want to say Kevin Buckman is on stage right now and he is just sharing a wealth of knowledge about how you can um, create an ongoing income by simply you know, doing X, Y, and Z. Like, or just share something specific that he said um, to accompany the picture. So the caption that you share with any pictures that you're going to post are going to be just as important, if not more important, than the picture itself. Because remember, your friends, your family, your network, they don't know the speaker. So they want to know why that speaker is so awesome and why you're sharing this picture and why you love them. Some other cool um, uh, posting options are uh, your shop local experiences, right? So if you share you and your team um, visiting a shop local establishment and earning IBV for um, visiting that establishment, share it. Also, make sure that you mention in the post that your customers can earn cash back for going out to eat at local establishments. Again, you're starting intrigue. You're, you're inspiring conversation and questions. Um, the gala. Guys, the gala is essentially like the Academy Awards of our company. So definitely post pictures of the gala. Um, you know, everybody's getting fancy that night, looking great, looking their best. Um, but also it's there to celebrate the successes and the achievements of us, us as a company but of certain individuals who have really just risen to the top and done something extraordinary, right? So make sure that you celebrate success. And the same thing goes true for things like the chairman's reception. Um, products that you bring with you to the Coliseum or travel products or products in your hotel room. Anytime you can snap a shot of yourself using product while traveling or at the, at the convention, again, you're, you're creating an opportunity to talk about products, right? Um, I can't tell you how many times I've taken uh, pictures of myself with a TLS bar in one hand and a wake shot in the other, right? So, um, because the, the convention is long and there's a lot to learn and you very rarely want to ever leave your seat. So, sometimes the TLS bar and wake shot is exactly what you need. We'll share those kinds of pictures. It can be really helpful for a first time on a franchise owner who, you know, didn't think ahead to bring in a wake shot and a TLS bar with them. Um, your favorite booths. Anytime you visit a booth, take pictures. Almost all of the booths have these step and repeats, like um, you know, a logo backdrop or somewhere cool to take a photo. Share those pictures. Maybe you're getting the friends from this as well. I know at the Web Center booth, they have like all kinds of interactivity. You can um, play with the software. There's multiple laptops that are set up. There's also free mocha tonics at the Web Center booth, just so you know. You can come have a cup of mocha and talk about web centers and view a lot of all of, you know, all of their resources. Um, TLS, Nutrimetrics, Motives, LDB, um, DNA, all of those booths have interactivity. They all have panels. They have things to do at lunchtime. They have really cool props that you can take pictures with. And most of them also have unfranchised owners that specialize in given areas that they get to interact with you answer your questions about those different products and areas of specialization. So take pictures and post them and, and have fun with that. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely take pictures of yourself with your free tickets to the next event, which when you're in North Carolina, the next event will be World Conference 2020. Guys, pause for a moment. 2020 is in like six months. What are you waiting for? You have to build this now. Um, time is just going by so quickly. I can't, I can't even like 
can't even keep up. So um, post pictures with your tickets. You know, I got my three. I have two moves. Starting conversations. Um, hashtag signs and photo props. There's, they're everywhere. They're at all the booths. Um, breakout training and networking events. Um, so when you are at like the after party or you're, you know, but I, one of the things I love about International is the host hotel has like a restaurant bar area that's downstairs where everybody, you can't help but walk past it. You have to walk past it to get to the uh, elevators or to leave the building or whatever. And so it's really becomes like the ultimate networking place. Um, the top barrier always you know, they're having tires or whatever. And you can just have access to them. Hey, what's up? My name's Sarah Rose. It's great to meet you. Like I, you know, I, I saw your power profile, or I saw you on stage, or whatever it is. It's an incredible opportunity. Take pictures, talk about it, and also make the most of that time when you're there. Don't be afraid to say hello to people. Um, and of course, new products. Lots of products are launched at these event, events, and it, be, it becomes a very big opportunity for you to also launch them on your own social media page in tandem. So don't. Don't just be that person that goes to uh, international convention and sits in your chair like this and kind of watches in the perfect Once in a while, you grip. You know, you don't want to be that person. You want to enjoy it. You want to take it all down, and you want to share your experience. Share your experience to your personal pages. Um, post things to your area groups, guys. That's another huge tip. When you are posting to your your local area group and or your team Facebook groups, um, you are creating major FOMO fear of missing out, right? And so all those people that didn't show up are going, dang, I wish I had gone. And that might be exactly what they needed to see to make sure that they get their butt in the seat in Miami, right? Do your own now that they don't have to create a promo, but just keep in mind that in addition to posting to your own pages, posting inside of groups can also be really, really great. Um, okay, so we're gonna switch gears right now. Um, and by the way, you will get an email uh, campaign version of everything that we're talking about tonight. So, um, you know, you'll have all of that coming toward you. So the next product that we're going to talk about is our Shopping a New Heat Sunscreen. It is SPF 30. Uh, you get four fluid ounces. It's natural. It's a great product. There's zinc oxide in it. That's, you know, really great. It's used to help prevent sunburn. So it's time that basically means nonstop outside time. I know that Ryan and I just spent like four straight days outside um, because of the long holiday weekend and it was just beautiful out. Um, and this is probably the first time in years where we were not nursing major sunburns on our youngest son who has extremely fair and sensitive skin. So, um, you know, it's time for beaches, it's time for barbecues, it's time for pools, it's time for being outside and just, you know, you're constantly, constantly outside. And, you know, skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S., um, and it also it arguably is one of the most preventable ones, right? So um, if you think about it, sun exposure is the main cause, uh, is the major factor of growth of skin cancer, and if we can just, you know, be a little bit smarter about how we expose ourselves to the sun, wearing hats, making sure to apply, and not just apply sunscreen, but reapply sunscreen, um, then we can do a lot to, you know, prevent things like sunburn, of course, but also long-term, more uh, serious issues that the sun can cause. Um, so the Shopping and Beauty brand sunscreen is, it, it's, you know, SPF 30, it's the shade skin from sun's harsh rays. Um, it's mineral-based, it contains the zinc oxide, like I already said, which is, uh, provides an effective protection, which is mild enough for most people with sensitive skin. So, like I said, I mean, I, I read the, the, the reasons why I should try this product. I mean, I have children with very sensitive skin, so when we came out with sunscreen, it was just a no-brainer to try our sunscreen. Um, but the most important thing about using this product and any sunscreen that you do choose to use is it's not just about applying it once, you want to reapply. So our kids were in and out of the pool. It was fine. It's okay to get anything, definitely reapply. We'll go through many, many, many tubes of this product uh, throughout the summer, not just for our family, but also for our guests. So when our guests were over, we had different families coming over each day to enjoy the pool and cook out together. Um, and you bet it, you can bet your bottom dollar we had uh, tubes of sunscreen waiting for them to try. Again, like, if, you know, we don't come out with subpar products. Our products are always the best on the market. So I was talking to somebody earlier today, and he said, you know, everything that we come out with, we, I just try. 
Um, and I do as well. And literally 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I love the products and I I'm um, A couple things about this. Um, you, uh, you can get this product on Franchise.com. Uh, you can search for sunscreen or you can use product code 1403IBV. Um, and that will give you four IBV and the franchise cost is $9.95. That is an incredible price for that quality of sunscreen and for the amount of product that you get. Um, at, we've done a lot of uh, comparison shopping and uh, the, the price is perfect. So make sure that you get one of these for yourself, maybe two. It's really hot in North Carolina. You're definitely going to need sunscreen, especially if you're going to take advantage of that incredible pool that they have there. The Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to pause for a second, and I'm going to, in our last three segments, I'm going to um, invite some special guests to join us with. So I want you guys to be asking questions as they're here, because I'm just checking right here, lots of great comments about the sunscreen, this is wonderful, um, and we're going to have our special guests joining. Um, right about now, let me just go let them know. Hold on. And we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, come on down. So... Cool. You guys, I just, I just want to know that we're ready for them, and my dog is now yelling at them to hurry up. <laughs> so we'll just take a moment. Okay. That's okay. Come on down. Christy, you want to sit here? Cool. Cool, and you can just shut the door because my dog is excited. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, so we should be able to see everybody. I did sit in every chair earlier. <laughs> just, just to test it. Yeah, cool. All right, so guys, these are our special guests. So tonight we have Kristen Wimler, Hi. and we have Valerie Martin, and Phil Martin. And um, so each of these guys, well, actually, Phil and Val are from Connecticut, and Kristen is from London, Massachusetts. You're in that one, right? I do. Yeah, you're just working in Springfield. So well, that's where your, your, yes. your website is, right? Cool. All right, awesome. So we have them on tonight because each of them have um, achieved the Shopping Unity Master Member Program multiple times, and this past time is no exception. So you guys were able to achieve it and actually exceed the expectations in many ways. And so we're going to kind of talk to you guys about it uh, because, there are, as you guys know, we made some changes to the Shopping Annuity Master Member Program this last this last go around to shift the focus from a dollar spend on the IBB to an IBB target. And the purpose and main point of doing that was because we don't really care how much people are spending. We want them to create more IBV because when you create more IBV, you create more potential for commission, right? Okay. So um, really kind of just said, let's just put the brakes on this and let's try to retrain people, not just to redirect their spending, but to think about how to redirect their spending to get those back. Um, and so what I wanted to do is I want to highlight just one uh, one little thing here, and then I'm going to interview you guys, if that's okay. Sure. So, um, recently on VAR Riding Her, there was an article called Ways to Ramp Up Your Activity to Generate More BB and IBB Toward Your Goal. And that goal, of course, being SAMM and also being Master UFO. Okay, so if you check out that blog article, it's at VARRidingHer.com. Again, the title is Ways to Ramp Up Your Activity. There's a really nice list there of ways to earn and create more BB in your household as well as IB. Um, what I want to do here is I want to focus on how you guys did. All right, so the first question that I have for you is, hold on, <laughs> um, before uh, achieving Shopping Annuity Master Member, did you set out to do it? Did you set a goal to achieve SAMM or did it just happen? Did you make a plan for it or is it something on your future list? I always make a plan to either hit the SAMM or the uh, Master UFO. Cool. So every every quarter, I've tried to hit that ever since I've become um, a franchise owner. And I don't think I'm just a Yeah, I do have <laughs> That's um, awesome. One of the two. So I alternate. It seems like I alternate. Yeah, well, that's interesting. And what about you guys? I think it actually was both. I yeah. mean, we always did a lot of online shopping all the time, so that was kind of automatic. So now we were going to get paid for it in yeah. a whole different way. And then, you know, you do have to set goals in any business. So, you know, we did that and have made it ever since it started. That's awesome. And, yeah, and so but, but the point is, is that it's not like, you know, the week before the quarter closed, you're like, hmm, maybe I'll 
it as um, was on your mind that this was something you wanted to do. Oh, from yes. the very yeah. beginning. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Definitely. And the very just, first time, yeah. we made a plan. I wanted to get a real jump start. Yeah. Um, and so looked at everything that we could use to make the, you know, all of them. Um, but uh, I, I didn't wait. That's because good. I, I kind of was afraid that we would make it. Yeah. Um, but starting that way made it much easier. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I just want to say, too, like as far as our team um, goes, is when we would have pourings, we would put aside like 20 minutes and have everybody bring the computers and what are you doing before they left? They had to make a shop list, look at what do you need for the week, what do you need for the month, what are you going to be looking at for the next, you know, 90 days. That's and really, that really powerful. Really helps. And we saw our you know, BV and IBV grow yeah. just by having them do that. And so did they. You know, they could see the difference, and now they have products, now they have things to bring to their customer base. I think that's actually a really incredible bit, um, you know, because some people, like, for, for us, for people like myself, and I know you guys personally really well, it's second nature when a challenge is presented to go, okay, this is what it is, how am I going to get it? I know you're great with so are you guys. You just have to bring other people, you know, it might be something that they want to do, but that they're not necessarily sure how they'll do it, so they don't necessarily take that step. But doing something like a pouring where it ends with, you know, doing it together is a really powerful way to help people, you know, grow into that. That's awesome. I think you find out, too, in that group, um, people do different things. Yeah. So you, you learn from each other. other. Yeah, yeah, you learn from each other. You gave us a lot of tips on stores and things like that that we right. could introduce and put more to people that we didn't know existed either. So and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It definitely and is. Having a fun day, like a fun, day, fun day to fund your shopping annuity is is helpful to go through your house, mm -hmm. go through your checklist. There's plenty of things that I've run out of, and I'm like, and, and you're yeah. like scurrying to see if somebody else has it, you can put it on. I know I have personally <laughs> texted both of you guys. <laughs> For something I have run out of because I'm guilty of it too. Yeah. I think I texted you for my LDV serum. Yep. I texted you for like, I've, I've known you for like over 10 years, so probably everything under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like, I need just, I'm going to order it again. I just need, need it until it comes in. Um, but, anyways, let me ask you this. How did you feel about the new program? So, we switched to a $3,000 spend to a 300 IBV spend. Um, were you, when you saw that change, were you nervous about it? Were you excited by it? Did you, were you reluctant? How did you feel about that? Um, I was a little nervous about it because once you start doing it the old way, it's like anything. Yeah. You're really conditioned to it, and we were doing it, and it was it was great. It was easy. It, it just, so now it's something new. It's something new. That you have to learn. It. Yeah. So you're just not quite sure, but if you step up and take the same procedures as we did the first time, Getting way Yeah, I think that's a powerful approach. I mean, it just sounds like planning, especially as you're learning the new habits, is very important. I think too, you know, um, Sarah and I were talking a little bit earlier. I says, you know, when you leave your house today, you are going to spend a minimum of fifty dollars at least, not a hundred, and sometimes multiple hundreds, depending on what you're doing that day. So at least in our house, like that. No. It's never a $50 day. Oh, I wish it was. So the aspect of looking at what am I going to be needing, where am I going to be shopping, and making sure that we have gift cards, whether it's Marshall, Home Goods, or the Big Y, or the Home Depot, or whatever it is yes. on us, because we're going to spend the money anyway. You know, it doesn't matter. But I know when I leave the house, it's going to cost me money. So yeah. being prepared for that, being you know, prepared, has, has helped a lot. Yeah. For me, I thought it was Actually, it was easier for me to hit the IPV. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Actually, I'm not going to lie for me, too. Like, we we did order some extra stuff that we ran out of, but we hit the IBV way before, before we hit the BV. Yeah, right. And the same IBV. thing. Yeah, we hit the IBV, too. Mm -hmm. um, but I also needed furniture for the new office, so I went to where. But I was shopping for it. So that was, it, it's great because they're a partner store, so I was able to mm -hmm. actually fund the shop, the shopping annuity. Yeah, and um, so it's all the things that I would normally buy. Yeah, like our business cards from Vista Print and from Wayfair and Staples. Those are the same stores that I go to and I shop from every single day. I just shop through them for myself, and I hit it. Yeah. I think I hit the IBB 
the second week in May. Wow. That's yeah, awesome. second week in May. So you still had halfway to go. To, right. And yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, guys, that's that's another thing. But for you, Christian, it's very unusual for you to just kind of go aside first. But you mentioned something like furniture. So I do want to just pause for a second because sometimes those big ticket items will make a major dent in your goal. And even though you will not buy furniture, most likely for your office in the next quarter, something else is going to come up. That's going to be a big ticket item or just something out a little bit outside of your normal consuming, consumable spending. So I just want people to keep that in mind because I think as a company, like we're talking a lot about your consumables, right? Because that makes the most sense. You buy it all the time. And yes, that should be a focus. But really, you cannot forget about that seasonal spending and the extra step up. When we, when we have to get Jordan to the cross equipment, I mean, that stuff's expensive. Cross equipment, you spend three, four hundred dollars and then they grow out of it so quickly. Our he needs yeah. brand new cleats and he's a size 12 in men. So it's like, you know, 150 bucks. You know, that kind of stuff comes up and there are really big opportunities where you may not be earning or working toward your goal because you forget about those, those bigger ticket items, right? Um, two, when you have, you know, do the shopping loop assessment where you put in your events and yeah. your different things. Oh, yeah. I love getting those reminders of yeah, such and such birthdays yes. coming up. You know, my sister's mm -hmm. wedding is in two weeks. Yeah. You know, just for things when you go in and you redo it, that you can put in that you may have forgotten about, you know, that you have to buy for or prepare and for. And that's a big so reason why great. you should complete that yeah, shopping loop assessment. If you do think, take the time to put in annual events, you get personalized reminders yeah. for that. Yeah, I love that. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Okay, so what are some resources? We're going to focus on BD again for a second. What are the, some of your resources that you use to help identify new BD products? I know that we're all kind of experienced and franchise owners, but what are some of your top ones? So I'm going to roll off some examples. If, if some of these are them, that's great. If you have other ways, that's great too. Uh, achieving SAM as a guide, uh, social media, posts or on franchise owners or senior business partners, events. Uh, product recommendations that you found on the homepage of Unfranchise or anything else. What are some of the top ways that you learn about new BD products um, that are coming out? I think for me, try. Uh, I've learned a lot from the Maximizer Shopping Annuity. The, from the Facebook, Facebook group. group. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, people will share tips, they'll share, mm -hmm. you know, uh, multiple uses for a product. Love that. So for me, um, and I love the new homepage too. Yeah, the new homepage has the featured products, so it's yeah. like, oh, what is that? And not something I would normally look for, yeah. but if I'm looking at it, it pops up. I read it and say, oh, okay, yeah. I could actually use that, or I'll try that, or I know somebody that that could benefit. I love that because, and that's that's a really good point, Kristen, because you know we have you know so many products, so to have a collection of ten that are you know thought of for a specific reason, time of year, whatever, that pops up, it's a great way to learn about new products. I agree. Yeah. What about you guys? Definitely attending the events for me is number one. Yes. I'm a science geek, so I always want to know what's in everything. <laughs> you know? yeah. I, I belong to just about every Facebook page where Mark America is concerned, so <laughs> what's happening, is a special combination of something that works. Mm -hmm. um, but it just, you know, two of my favorites is that I go through two of this a month and I love it because it has shea butter in it and coconut, um, coconut oil as well as um, oh, sunflower seed oil, I believe. And so many products that they say are moisturizing really are full of mineral oil. You really wow. have the ingredients. And that's not the best oil to put on your skin. I mean, and I love this because I'm old, so <laughs> <laughs> soft. Like like no, 25. My um, um, blood sugar and cholesterol by 12 points and um, in four and a half months. Wow. And nothing has lowered it. Nothing. That's incredible. No, I actually never heard of that as a, a yeah. from tremendous experience. So yeah. I see the heart health. Here. Tremendous for heart and health and body. Yes. Yeah, you just bring up a really good <laughs> point, Bell. It's like sometimes you hear a product testimonial from somebody. And it's not one that you would expect, right? And so right. I, you know, like Phil shared with me earlier, I want to share that. <laughs> I will get to that. 
But it's funny because I never would have thought of that product for that reason, just like I never would have thought of trim tea for that yeah, special reason. Trim cafe, right? Yeah, and trim cafe, exactly. Yeah, so Phil would share with everybody. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I think I was leaving the room. There's <laughs> <laughs> only eight other people. Yeah, it's only eight other people. Yeah, it's only eight other people. It's just All right, so um, we try every new product. And obviously, um, I like the safe ones like toothpaste and the deodorant. I mean, they're a big, a big deal um, yeah. health-wise for us. Mm -hmm. So um, I tried it, but I was really the other the other deodorant the toothpaste. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah. So I, I I was ripping the hair off from underneath my arms, and, and Valerie said, um, I, "You get you're getting your own stick because I don't want that." <laughs> And so and, 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 and I said, doesn't bother you? I mean, it's dragging. It's not. She said, well, it's the chemicals that aren't in it that don't make it slide as well. And it's not a big deal. I go, you can say that easily. Because yeah. your, your, your armpits are shaved. And she goes, well, shave your armpits. So I did. <laughs> Only to find out just the other day that um, take our pH spray, which yeah, is great. Normalizing. Yeah, normalizing. Yeah. Right. Put that on first. <laughs> It's it, it glides. Hair starting to grow back now. <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, again, I've never heard of using <laughs> pH normalizer spray in conjunction with our deodorant for that reason. But that's a really great thing. So if you have, you know, if you're trying a new product and something's not working, you might be able to combine with something else. I mean, obviously, the shopping would be getting better, better for you. Oh, then the other products that maybe they glide on that are all those chemicals and yeah metals are not great for they contain body. a lot of aluminum and you don't yeah. want that on your body exactly you know? exactly and so there's a reason for it <laughs> and i'm like and really steadfast point. about our products like i want to use great. our products but i don't know if I, how much longer i can take this you yeah. know it, it all worked out good yeah again you learn about so so the, i guess the moral of the story is the best way to learn about products is from each other. Yeah. So, you know, keeping that conversation going, whether it's conference calls or recordings or just texting or uh, Facebook groups or whatever, or the whole thing, you know, that's very, very important for uh, helping people to transition and um, That tip convert. was actually on Facebook and it was somebody's, oh, right. yeah. it was somebody's um, nurse that had told them about that. To try it. To try that. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. spray is awesome for so many things. Spray yeah. is a makeup refresher. Time yeah, to just before I came, I just spritzed my face. Good for a little makeup on. Yeah, you, know, yeah. Just look, you look great. Look right, right on. It's just great. Oh my good, I love that. So, okay, so what about IBB products? Um, what were your top resources? So we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you specifically what IBB products do you. Where, where did your IBB come from mostly? I want to know that. Before we get to that, are there any specific resources that helped you to identify IBB to try? That you felt was very helpful. Uh, I have to say that the the, the trial size marketing, the DJ um, Khaled collab that we did. Yeah. Honestly, I took advantage of that and mm -hmm. for the trial size marketing, and I've given away a lot of, and I actually have customers for that. But my IBB, I did 155 IBB. I think it was great that they gave us the option to do the BB or the IBB. Yeah. And I took advantage of that. And I did 155 IBB just in that collaboration between the uh, great uh, right. shake, or not the shake, the, the shop, and, 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 yeah. right, the awake shop, and, yeah. and the turnout. So, and I've had great success with that. Um, I'm actually getting a lot of customers. So, the trial size marketing. I love and, that. I love that. And being able to take advantage of the things that the company gives us. So when the company gives you, you know, that a billion you, dollar collaboration, right? right. Exactly. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Yeah. So okay. that's what I did. That's a good, that's a so, great tip. That's a great tip because it was a very successful collaboration. Um, Billboard like wants to learn about what happened because they've never done anything like it, and it's a very typical marketing America that blaze a trail like. That. So it, I'm sure that more separate, amazing collaborations and opportunities like that will will you know come up next. So what about what about you guys? Well, for I mean our products that we have the shopping annuity products again, I learned a lot about those just from doing the shopping annuity assessment because everything was set up there. It was easy to click on yeah. it and, and have all that. And you know I just when you asked us to do this this morning. Um, I just kind of wrote down just the things that we use and how easy it was to just get 157 IBV. Okay, and so and speak up because they're saying okay. probably because of uh, how far away we are. 
Okay. It's not you. So the Luminae to be handed by the I go through this one a month. So for three months, we're going to have three of these. That's 48 IBV right there. That's awesome. The Fix um, Thick Hair Shampoo, Phil uses that. He goes through that about, again, a bottle a month. And I keep a, a bottle on for or two on hand for my clients. So there's um, three of those. So there's 30 um, IBV. Coffee, we order a bottle of that. That's 15 um, IBV. And I want to say we tend to drink decaf, not caffeinated coffee, but we use it for friends and family. And I made up little gift boxes to some of our shiny and products and giving them to um, some of our really good clients just as a thank you. You know, and you're so appreciative of that. Um, the hand soap, again, we're going to go through two of those. I mean, we have four bathrooms at least. So there's eight IBV, three toothpaste, there's 12. A deodorant for four IBV, shave cream, two of those um, in a month. There's, or for two, for three months rather, there's six. And then, of course, you've got to have a sunscreen. It is summer. Yeah. And that adds up to 157 BB. And these things IV. that IBV, sorry, IV, yeah. that are using. And it's right. not about your yourself. And, and by the way, just you bring up a really good point. So we talked about how switching to the IBV target was to help people shift toward earning rather than spending, right? Well, previously people were going and spending a bunch of money at raise, and then after all that was done, and that's all they were doing, you know, they maybe or not, I don't want to. That's a great store, but that was basically all they were doing. So they leave with anywhere between eighty and one hundred and twenty-five IBV for the quarter. You just got to one hundred and fifty-seven. And even before you add a single partner store. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? exactly. So that's very, very powerful, you guys. We have the shopping and rebrand products. We have the super IV products. And I saw a list of another 10 that are, you know, um, that are being vetted right now. It's, a, it's amazing. And those are up to 60% IVV. So, like, to be buying, you know, uh, toothbrushes from the drugstore right. makes no right. sense to be buying them from yourself. Yeah. Um, the Q-tips that we just came out with or the cotton swabs. Those are awesome with the anti-blemish lotion. You know, the for acne, I still have adult acne. So using those for that is, is amazing. Like, it, it has so many opportunities. Um, so why don't you guys uh, kind of share with everybody how you hit the IBV portion? Because that's the newest portion for people. So if you want, you just share with us your, your exclusive products. What are some other things that you've done to hit, um, to create IBV? Well, I, I spend a lot of time in Home Depot, for sure. <laughs> And um, I go to Ray's first, um, get my uh, certificate, uh, I believe it's uh, 5 BV um, that you get there, and then also uh, get the Home Depot certificate, buy the things online, that's another 5, so that's 10, yes, 10% yeah, uh, IVV right there for whatever amounts that you're, you're doing. I go through those things like crazy. And you guys have to buy ones all the time. I would be doing that. So every every uh, month or whatever it is, we're three bags of dog food, and and I do the same thing. I, I do raise and then pet up the same the same identical way, and I think those are about the same. Yeah. And and sense. another tip, you guys, like on on franchise, you can buy a Petco e gift card and get um seven percent IBV for that. So right, if you right. run out of raise and you right. you run out your, you know your cap, you can get them right from on the franchise right, right, too. Right, right. We do that all the time. Yeah. And then what are some of the other stores on your list? Oh, Panera gift cards. We're always in Panera, you yeah. know, grab the salad, so make sure we uh, get part of that. Um, TJ Maxx, yes. Marshalls. Mm -hmm. I mean, those I always have in my pocketbook. Or what I really like is a lot of times I'm in the store, and I'm standing in line because there's 20 people ahead of me, and I know about how much I have in my basket, so I'm buying the gift card right, right there, there because it emails it to you, and I just show it to her, right. and I'm good to go, you know, mm -hmm. so. That makes it really easy. I mean, I love the convenience of having that. Me too, you know, without a doubt. The e-gift cards that are on, on franchise is such um, a gem. Like, there's so many great stores on there, and it's instant delivery. It's 7%. They also do uh, specials where they'll double it or go up to right. 11% right. or whatever. Um, the best is for some time. Um, I got a set of leather, used a gift card, went to the stores. You get IDB twice for a purchase you were going to make anyway. Um, Fandango is on there. Right. Our, our, Jordan is just going to the movies with his girl <laughs> all the time. So it's like we're buying the tickets online, but we're going and getting the Fandango e-gift card. Then we're going to Fandango. Again, I'm earning twice on that date that my kid is on. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> what did he go see last night? Annabelle. Who went and saw Annabelle? It's not, 
I know why he did it. But um, <laughs> um, so he went and so he took his girlfriend to see Annabelle. Like, <laughs> no, he wanted her to be scared and oh. hugging up on him. Oh. <laughs> so so anyway, those are big ones. Uh, also, it's going to be back to school time, college time, right? So if you have people that are going to college and you want to give them gifts, get the e-gift certificates. I mean, Domino's is on there. Uber, um, Uber is Uber. on there. I forgot about Uber. Uber. Uber is on there. And then what's another really big one for college? Oh, Fandango, things like that. Like, because college kids don't have spending money. So those are fun ways to kind of Panera, treat them. Panera, Panera and donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, yep. Yeah, it's great. Like, convention coming up in another month. Shopping yeah, like, it's a good time to look at where you're going to be spending time at convention, where you're going to be eating at, you know, what are some of the activities or whether you're going to be renting a car or hotel or anything like that. If you haven't made all your plans yet, look to see where you can get some gift that. cards yeah. and save some money. You know, that the other way. thing, um, too, is that don't forget, when we register our cards, our bank cards or mm -hmm. our uh, credit cards, we're getting that IBV back from the restaurants and the stores from the shop locals. That's yeah. Right. Sometimes we forget about those. Mm -hmm. and I know we were in New York City, and we actually got – we didn't even know that they were a shop local. local because sometimes we forget, especially when we're on the go. And we happened to go in there and we actually earned I mean, back. Yeah. Yeah. At the, I think that happened to me at Forever 21. I was right. running in for something like stupid last minute that I needed and I paid with my registered card. Yeah. And Forever 21 is a shop local and they get and I earned IBV. Or it was at the time. I don't know if it still is, but I was like, wow, that's yeah. crazy. But sometimes we forget about yeah. the shop local. Sure. Yeah, and we have that at, at our fingertips as well, and yeah, we absolutely. forget about that. Cool. So would that you would, would you mind choice. sharing kind sure. of your list where your IBV came from? Because you had five hundred and thirty. I did. That, that's yeah. a lot of IBV. So don't forget, I did one hundred and fifty five with the DJ um, Khaled collab. So we had I mean, we shop at Box, we shop at Vistaprint, Home Depot, Staples, Wayfair. Checks in the mail, guys. Checks in the mail was twenty seven and a half percent IBV. Wow. We did some checks. Uh, Premier Travel. If you're going to convention, yeah. Premier Travel. I yeah. booked our Premier Travel. We earned 131 IBV from Premier Travel yeah. alone. And then the Super IBV products, um, I did 80 IBV, and then I did a gift order. So it was – That's amazing. It was good. Um, yeah. Now, would I necessarily do do 155 and try size marketing um, in the next quarter? Possibly. Yeah, because we do have products that are trial size symbols that we can give out to people. That creates so, the customers. Oh, yeah, that's huge. So that's the reason why I hit the BB. Yes. Yeah, that's true. So the thing is, is that, um, again, like every quarter is going to create different opportunities. So I just want everybody to approach each quarter with, you know, a positive mindset in that way. You know, there's the there's the consumable stuff that you're going to buy month to month. The shopping and neighbor products and super IBV gives you the highest percentage. So you obviously want to start there. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of nail down um, your top other things that you're going to do anyway. The little like you guys have the, the going out to eat thing nailed down. Like you just always care. Um, and you're really great at finding high IBV things for other big ticket items that are going on. But it takes a little bit of time. Um, and every quarter is going to present some new opportunity for you to, to get there. It's not going to be like the same thing every quarter is my point. Um, so one little tip is at the, at the uh, convention, the Shopping Annuity booth is actually going to have a, a new handout called An Insider's Guide to Generating More BB and More IBB. And it's going to be top 10 tips for more BB in your household and top 10 tips for more IBB in your household. Um, and it's going to be based off of tricks and tips from the field like this. Um, also, you to feature tons and tons of real examples from people that hit SAMM about how they did it. So if you are looking for specific ways and stores and maybe things you didn't know about that other people can share what they did for you, that's going to be available to review after shopping in the video. So um, we're going to switch gears. And I'm going to leave you guys here if that's cool. We're going to do a little bit. We're going to combine a brain spanking and our GMTSS wrap up. So our brain spanking is all about magic moments at a convention or any convention, any world conference. As you guys know, the Miami World Conference this year was just unprecedented. Jerry said he has never received this much unsolicited feedback about how wonderful the event was since 25 years ago, right? It's been 
it's been, or 20, he, excuse me, he said 27 years ago. He goes, I'm experiencing this with you. So there was a shift in Miami that was just so powerful. And I really just had to be there to feel it. Um, the value of the event, the content, the magic moments, the electricity, the um, things just moving into formation and coming to fruition, it all was happening. It was very, very powerful. So I, before I ask you guys to share your number one magic moment from an event, I do want to let everybody know that, again, on JR's blog, beingjrridinger.com, there's an article called Share Your Success, uh, Your Stories and Feedback with Me. And on it, there's hundreds, hundreds of, of people and what they got out of the last world conference in Miami just this year. So if you're looking for a reason to get to international convention, if you check out that blog article, there'll be hundreds of reasons to go. Um, and so the biggest point is, is um, when you go to these events, you become educated, you learn about the products, you learn about business building te uh, techniques, you get to network with people. It's all of the things that you can read off a bulleted list. But the biggest, most intangible thing is, is that most of us walk away with a magic moment, um, at least one after every event. Um, and so, you know, there's one that will always stick with you that really changed uh, something for you. And then there are small ones that, that come, you know, throughout the weekend. And so I, what I wanted you guys to do, because they can read the article themselves and talk about it and use that as any inspiration to make the decision to go, is can you guys share a magic moment, your first magic moment, or any magic moment that you'd want to share? Um, to be honest, I've had so many different events um, that I've had now aha moments. I try to take something away from every single event, whether it be yeah. uh, a world convention or international convention, even our locals. Uh, so I take something. There's just so many, but uh, you know, Don Martin just sticks out in my head only because when he came uh, about a year ago. Everything he said, you know, why are you, why are you stepping over hundreds to pick up those pennies? Yeah. And that has stuck with me ever since. And I think that's why it was so easy for me to hit me because that value and it, it's stuff like that that you take away, you know, a little thing. And that happened. It could be you know, a little I, thing that Don maybe never even thought about yeah. would touch somebody that way or, or reach somebody that way. It's yeah. a little thing that somebody says or the way that they said it that hit somebody. Yeah. yeah, and branding yourself. That's, that's basically, I mean, yeah. it, it, he actually changed it for me. That's so awesome. So he's, he's changed it for me. That's awesome. And that's, a, you know, for those of you that don't know, Martin is a director of the company and is, you know, a top field leader. And he's one of those people that you'll see in the lobby every single night. And he's talking to everybody. You so know, down to earth. And so down to earth, everybody's really great, very approachable. Not only will you learn from the stage, but you'll have the opportunity to talk to people like that after the event, mm -hmm. right? Um, and what about you? I'm sure you guys each have your own. I, I have, I have two. I'll make them brief. Uh, first one was when um, we bought Shop. It was mm -hmm. historic. That was amazing. It was historic, and I remember talking to a couple of people from England that were part of the company that came, and um, you just knew that that was kind of a historic change for us. The other one was, I think it was this past year, but um, well, we went back and told what the original people did starting. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was so good to go back and, you know, we all look at them and see where they are now and think that, you know, they just shouted up there and they were stars instantly and the things that they had to go through. Uh, I, I think that was just great for them to go back in time to show us yeah. that. That's great. Yeah, I mean, so uh, Phil talking about it, it was our 25th anniversary yeah. international yeah. convention, and they took a trip down memory lane, and they yeah. said, you know, remember when Mark Ashley had to answer the phones and call yeah. his assistant, who was basically him, or somebody else who oh, was yeah. also yeah. him. And he yeah. 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 yeah, and Lauren was like, you know, Helping with packaging, and you know everybody's working their tails off, and you just know at that point the company was built on true heart, you know, mm -hmm. blood, sweat, and tears, and true heart, and they're in it for the right reasons. That's amazing. Um, Val, I think for me, it's um, it never ceases to amaze me. I think this will be our convention. Um, mm -hmm. Is that um, I'm in awe over where the company is always going and how they are. Mm -hmm. Always leading the way, and each 
new product development, new technologies. I mean, our world is moving faster than it's ever moved in history yeah. on so many levels. And to have a company that, you know, you've got six, seven, probably actually more than a thousand people yeah. in different places working for you for $20 a month is insane. You yeah. know, it's just insane. And I think sometimes the part I get frustrated with people sometimes, and um, I, I just want to put this up as a, as a business owner, but whether you are a um, physical business owner, you know, and now you have a franchise business, and people get frustrated, we all work in just didn't have a bad day with the customer or yeah. whatever our dish is that day. But that I kind of want to say, um, is everything in your life perfect? You know, does the job that you have, is every single day perfect, the job that you go to? You know, is your home life and your surroundings and everything perfect every single day? No, because it's always changing and we all have that stuff to handle. And certainly when you have a business, especially as cutting edge as this with new products and new technologies, Sometimes you got to try things out and you got to see if they work and how they move and do yeah. we change our mind and how do we make it better. And sometimes I think we all need to take a deep breath, you know, yeah. with our own business and our own lives and just kind of really realize that there's no company out there that's doing as much for you, giving you yeah, as right. much. I mean, I've worked yeah. for other companies, as I'm sure many people in the field have, and you just don't have the president of the company and the CEOs educating you, teaching yeah. you, bringing everything to the forefront, and you see that. Time after time, they're not sending in their little peons and the president makes a 10 minute speech and he's gone and you never see from him yeah. for the next five years, you know. That's right, um, that's right. I mean, these are people that have her back every step of the way and they're all to be commended. So, yeah. it's yeah, great to be there. Because for me, um, I've, I've been, I am a traditional business owner as well, but getting out there in the field with your people yeah. means the world to any person, whether yeah. you're a salesperson in a traditional business or a salesperson in a franchise business, but when you're out there in the field and you're showing people and you're actually doing it with them, that means more than Absolutely. anything. Absolutely. Anyway. So um, I think one thing that everybody has in common with a magic moment is that it doesn't happen when you're watching a YouTube video. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't yeah, happen. Either. It doesn't happen when you're watching the recap. Those videos are amazing to recap on information, things that you may have missed. But the, the moments really change you. They really help you to make that shift or when you're there. You can't get that same thing when you're watching a video or reading a recap blog or something like that. I want you to use those resources appropriately. They're there to recap. They're not there to, you know, substitute for being in a live event. If you really want to get the most out of them, you have to be there. So the it's energy. Yeah, the energy. It's the energy. It's, it's the so energy. contagious. And you learn so much from all the other franchise owners, mm -hmm. you know, certainly from the trainers and everybody that puts them all together. But it's, it's tremendous. You have to be there. So to down the top, I want to give people three quick tips on how to get more of their organization to attend. So it's not just about you getting there, it's about how can you get there with more people. If you don't have your tickets, there are some that are still available. Um, or if you have tickets, how can you move those tickets to people, that, your prospects, people in your group that maybe haven't made the decision to go yet that don't have tickets. So the first one is focus on getting your organization to local seminars and other GMTSS events. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes the reason you can't sell a ticket is because you don't know how to sell value to an event. When you get your people to attend a GMTSS event, like a local seminar or even a UBP, at the end of a UBP, they will talk about international convention. The speaker that is presenting is going to do that for you. They're going to present on how important it is to be there, what the value of it, why get there, how to get there, and all of that great stuff. So. Sometimes focusing on getting someone to a smaller event will help you to get that person to a larger event. Um, the next, the second tip is to share your personal experiences. So just like products, sharing a personal experience with an event can sometimes be more powerful than sharing the lineup. Um, when the agenda is available, you can more share that and that generate interest, but sharing a personal experience is very powerful when talking about anything, helping someone to make a decision for themselves. Um, if you don't, if you have never gone before, check out that blog that I was talking about, being jridinger.com. There's hundreds of personal experiences that you can share with people on your team or that are, that are on the fence about attending. And then the third tip is to assist with logistics to attend. When your prospect needs a ticket, um, 
you know, that's fine, but sometimes the thing that's keeping them from going is maybe traveling or leaving for work is not in their comfort zone. So helping them to organize a hotel room, travel, a ride, a carpool, a this or that, can be the one little thing that they need that makes it easier for them to say, yes, I will go. Mm -hmm. um, so three, the three things. Number one, get your people to the smaller GMTSS events because that can sell it for you. Number two, share personal experiences or JR's blog of other people's experiences. And number three, assist with logistics. So, of course, the international convention is coming up in just a couple of weeks. It is August 8th through 11th. And it is at the uh, Greensboro uh, Coliseum. The host hotel does have a little bit of availability left. That's at the Sheridan. If you can stay at the host hotel, you definitely should. It's a lot of fun. And it's a lot easier when you're done hanging out and networking in that lobby area to just walk up to your room and have to take a ride to whatever other hotel you may be staying at. So I highly recommend the host hotel as well. Um, with that being said, uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining. Um, you guys shared so many great stories and, and pieces of advice, and I know I learned a lot from you. I know everybody else did as well. Um, and you will be in Greensboro, right? Absolutely. So if you see any of us in Greensboro, make sure you say hello. And um, you know, actually, our next uh, uh, Go Now game plan will likely be in the middle of August, just as a heads up, because um, I travel to Greensboro on the first Monday of the month. So, uh, everybody have a wonderful rest of uh, the evening and week and make it a great one. Bye. All right, I'm in it.